Do you always feel bloated after eating? Because you're not alone. The number of people searching why am I always bloated has skyrocketed over the last decade. So what's actually going on inside your body? My name's Esh, I'm a medical doctor, and let me explain what's normal, but also what you should be worried about. I'm not pregnant, just bloated. We are all quite literally just a long tube running from our mouth to our inners. And that tube is folded, kinked, and cooled inside our body. And when gas gets trapped anywhere along that tube, it stretches your gut out like a balloon. And that's what bloating is, that pressure, fullness, and discomfort. But where does all of that gas come from? Well, some of it comes from the food you eat, like beans, lentils, and onions. They contain special types of carbs called FODMAPs, which your body struggles to break down. We have gut bacteria that instead breaks them down, which releases gas in the process. Some of it comes from the way you eat. If you eat quickly, drink fizzy drinks, or talk while you chew, you swallow more air, and that air gets trapped in your gut, adding to the pressure. But some of it comes from the way your body is just designed. Everyone's gut moves food at different speeds, and in some people, it moves quickly, whereas others more slowly, which gives gas more time to build up. Hormones like progesterone, which women release during their period can slow digestion and cause water retention, as well as stress hormones like cortisol. That's why bloating isn't always just about food. Some people are just more prone to feeling it. When someone promises you a single fix to cure your bloating, be skeptical because they're likely just trying to sell you something that doesn't work. You can buy the bundle. The truth is most bloating is completely normal, but if it bothers you, you can try eating slower as well as eating smaller portions. It's also not just good manners to chew with your mouth closed, but it also helps you stop swallowing air. And you should cut down on fizzy drinks, caffeine, fatty foods, and food foods high in FODMAPs like onions and garlics. It's also important to know when bloating isn't normal. So if you've had bloating for more than three weeks or if it's accompanied by weight loss, blood in your stool, severe stomach pain, constipation, diarrhea, or a lump in your tummy, then please go and get it checked out because that could be a sign of something more serious. You know your body best and I'm just here to help you understand it. Follow for more medical explainers like these.